today I want to share with you Japanese pancakes. Nice and fluffy, nice and delicious, and I know you're going to love them. But first things first, my apron is on, my hands are clean, and I am ready to show you my ingredients. vanilla extract, vegetable oil, powder, baking powder, milk, syrup, butter, and of course my fruits, optional, and vegetable oil to cook these fluffy pancakes, Japanese pancakes. So let's get started. Let's prepare these delicious Japanese pancakes. My friends, I want to start with the liquids first. I have my milk, my vegetable oil that I'm gonna add to my milk. And to this, I am adding my vanilla extract, of course, made at home. We're gonna go ahead, add these three ingredients. We're gonna mix completely until everything is nice and incorporated, just like this. Look how beautiful it already looking. I'm gonna put it aside and I am going to continue with my dry ingredients. I have my all-purpose flour and my baking powder. I'm going to go ahead and start mixing this and incorporating completely both powders. I'm going to put it aside and I'm going to continue separating my whites and my um, egg yolk. We only have one egg. Just be careful that the egg yolk doesn't fall into your whites. I'm going to start with my egg, egg yolk and I'm going to add just the half of the sugar. Before I do that, we want to go ahead and mix it completely. Add half of the sugar. Mix it one more time until it's nice and pale yellow. Just like this. Okay, this is done. I'm going to reserve it aside and I'm going to continue with my egg whites. With my egg whites, I'm going to start mixing until they're starting to get just a little bit fluffy. Once we get to this point, I'm gonna go ahead and add the sugar, the rest of the sugar, and I'm gonna mix one more time. It's gonna take about a couple minutes before it starts looking very shiny and very puffy. This is the way we want to see it. Let me show it to you from close up so you can see how it is and what is the texture. It's nice, nice and nice peaks. To this, I'm gonna go ahead and just mix one more time the egg yolk, and I am going to add the powders, the all-purpose powder, powder and the baking powder. And we're gonna go ahead and just mix it. It's gonna get nice and pasty the way it is. And to this, I'm gonna start adding my liquids. I'm gonna add the milk, the oil, and the vanilla extract. This vanilla extract is so concentrated that it smells delicious, my friends. Once you have incorporated completely, and look, look how thick this is, okay? Now is the time where we're going to go ahead and add just a little bit of the egg whites. We wanna make sure that we just fold them in until everything is nice and incorporated it takes time my friends but these japanese pancakes come out so puffy and so delicious when well once you have mixed it completely folding method you're gonna go ahead and add it to the rest of the egg whites to this point this is ready i'm gonna go ahead add it to my egg whites and i'm gonna continue just folding 
folding all the mixture until everything is nice and incorporated and you no longer see the egg whites. So let's start and start folding all this mixture, making sure that everything is nice and folded in. When your mixture has completely turned really pale yellow, that means that the mixture is well done. You don't wanna over mix or you will inflate the egg whites and that's what we do not want. This mixture is nice and done. I'm gonna go ahead and put my skillet my griddle and to this i'm just adding just a little bit of oil and i'm going to go ahead with the napkin and just remove the excessive oil so i could start making my japanese pancakes look at this look how the mix mixture is nice and fluffy i'm going to go ahead completely add all my mixture here it's enough for three pancakes when this is done, I'm just gonna go ahead and cover it. I'm gonna leave it covered for just two to three minutes and then I'm ready to just flip over. Look how beautiful they look, okay? I'm gonna cover them one more time for another two minutes and I wanna show you how they are looking. Look at this. They are nice and done and nice and puffy. Look how puffy they look. I'm going to show you from close up how the Japanese pancakes looks. From close up, look how they look. They are nice and puffy. And to this, I'm just going to go ahead and start adding powdered sugar right on the top. Right on the top, I'm going to add powdered sugar. I'm going to go ahead and add a little circle of butter and be generous with your butter and i'm going to start adding my my honey just on the top look this is maple syrup i'm going to add it right on the top and i am so ready to start adding my fruits i want to show you from close up how puffy they are look at this my friends look how nice and puffy they came out they they look so delicious my friends i want to already taste my mouth is becoming watery but before i taste it i want to show you show you exactly how puffy they are look at this i know that once you try it you're going to continue making them at home very easy to cook and very delicious well, I am ready for the presentation. I can't wait to taste these delicious Japanese pancakes. I'll see you in a bit. taste these Japanese pancakes. They came out so fluffy that I just can't wait to taste them. Let's see how this came out because you know this is the part I love, I enjoy, and I really look forward to tasting my recipes. I've added some butter, some, some fruits. My mouth is already watering, so let me taste it. Let's see how this came out. Excuse me. Mmm. Mm. You know, they're so fluffy, so airy, so delicious. They taste so much of vanilla. I really love how spongy they are. At the same time, they feel so, so fluffy. When you put them in your mouth, they dissolve. I just can't take it no more. Excuse me. Mmm. Mm. 
and with the glass of milk perfection this just came out delicious and very very fluffy if you liked and loved my recipe please don't forget to subscribe give me thumbs up share my video on social media so more people get to know cooking with gloria don't forget to push the notification bell so every time i make a new recipe my friends yes you are notified i want to say thank you for watching my video from start to end i really do appreciate it before i say i see you soon i wish you nothing but the best peace and love and of course i will stay enjoying my japanese pancakes Bye bye